Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So I have come up with another resume screening video here. This resume is actually shared to me by one of my students. She is having around 11 plus years of experience. I'm hiding her name because of uh, I don't want to reveal the name. And the uh, resume looks really good. Very properly that uh, the kind of uh, segments, the kind of uh, description she has given uh, with respect to experience, project summary and everything. I really liked it. So I thought of sharing with you guys. If you're preparing a resume for 8 plus, 9 plus, 10 plus or 11 years also, you can uh, take some important things from this resume. You can follow the exactly same format. And uh, I'm pretty much sure that, okay, the resume will be picked uh, for you 100%. So a uh, profession summary, what exactly she has written over here, the methodological QA professional with 11 years of experience in optimal testing strategies, good one. Open and clear communicator with good multitasking skills, organized nature and strong attention to detail. I really liked the kind of uh, modern keyword that she is using. Organized data, strong attention to detail, good multitasking skills and everything. So I think it's not that typical objective that she's using it. And in fact, she has highlighted uh, certified in ISTQB, SCJP, and SOPOA and GPRO as well. So that's, I think, really good. This is for your functional testing. This is for your Java. And this is for automation tool also. She wants to highlight those things. Certified with these things. That's really good. And uh, this is the uh, content details. I have hidden these content details. She's in Bangalore. And a skill set, if you see the left hand side section quickly. So skills, she has written, okay, test and plan management, stakeholder management, because after 11 years, the test planning, estimations, team management, test management, stakeholder management, all these things matter a lot. So that's why you have to write these important keywords over here. It's not like only and only automation that you have to write or only a framework development that you have to write. No. Okay. So these are the three important things that she has written. Automation framework with POM patterns, Serenia web driver. Then different tools and technologies, Java, TestNG, API testing with SOAP, and Postman, Zira, obviously, uh, JUnit, SQL, XML, JSON, Jenkins, such nice keywords. See, this is the way of using proper keywords in your resume. On the basis of these keywords, your resume will be picked on Knockery.com or maybe on LinkedIn or maybe any other XYZ. Uh, you know, the portals are available in the market for, uh, uh, for various jobs. So see, all the keywords almost she has written. Maven, Git, Docker, AWS, ETL testing. RFT, Team Foundation Server, Clear Case, you know, uh, Clear Quest and everything. In fact, uh, you can extend this particular list also according to your uh, preparation, according to your resume preparation that you can do that. And then I really like this profile highlights. If you see the strong structure testing knowledge and uh, a thorough understanding of quality assurance testing and methodology concept and everything. So this is like very important points, couple of important points she has returned. Again, three important bullet points. Uh, let high performing testing team of 15 members you have to highlight that you have that skill set in terms of uh, uh, leading a team large scale cross functional projects if you really want to handle that okay yes you want to highlight i have handled uh, two to three projects you know for the various web application and the web services or any mobile application also you can write it over here that also you can put it over here and then impressive success in facilitating facilitating projects and guiding across uh, cross-functional teams for execution of project using agile scrum framework as well as v model methodology it means you are part of the sdlc stlc agile scrum framework also you want to highlight that and then again uh, framework part automation framework for the team using pom using selenium web driver and java that is the main core skill that she has highlighted experience in cicd pipeline using docker jenkins kit that's a really good one that's a very modern infrastructure automation uh, framework pattern and all such things that she has written in terms of infrastructure setup and then extensive experience and knowledge in testing lifecycle and core testing technique using different test approaches i really like this paragraph requirement and functional list test planning test estimation test preparation test execution reporting defect management some other keywords also she can write okay automation versus manual mapping rtm risk management risk analysis impact analysis also she can write it over here but i think that's good then maintain a strong customer relationship and trust by the excellent delivery in the last few years the result in the company being treated as partner other vendor and supplier such nice uh, very nicely written over here that okay yeah that's it looks like okay she's very matured and very well experienced and whatever the 11 years experience that she want to highlight with respect to her profile very well highlighted over here then a couple of other points own the, uh, the on-time delivery risk identification okay she has put it over here mitigation planning for the entire uh, cycle of the program, resource forecasting and the planning, it shows that, okay, yeah, you are experienced and you know how to uh, resource forecasting with respect to uh, test management tools to manage testing activities and to provide testing matrices and everything, how to manage your uh, 
resources and the future resources also are into the project. So you have that mindset, you understand the product, you understand how many things that you have to procure, how many resources that you have to procure later on according to the project. So you have that maturity and capability to become a team lead or test manager. I think it's a very good profile for test manager and team lead as well. And the test lead or maybe SDET manager as well. Mentor a team on automation script development. Then you have to highlight that you are not only a typical test manager, you are into the technology also in automation also. And then uh, on automation skill development, test execution, requirement analysis and skill development. A strong experience in automation web services using SOAP UI Postman. Maybe she can add uh, rest assured as well later on if you uh, have, okay, if you are having this particular skill, rest assured, HTTP client and all such things also you can write it. Excellent testing and database skills also she has written like SQL management, server management and Oracle developer. Experience in automation, desktop application, fine. And RFT also she has mentioned, active member of COE team. If you are the part of COE or R&D team in your, in your company, to create automation framework, extends and best practices to be followed, QA competency in the organization, very well written over here. It's a very, very positive point, I would say. Part of entity data training and learning, <clears throat> any kind of learning that you want to highlight. And then that's again, it's a very good point that you are part of hiring panel also for the QA competency in entity data in your current company if you are hiring going for college placement and all such thing you can mention those points as well over here like this and then the professional experience that uh, very simple three companies entity data dell and ibm and uh, this is uh, currently january 2018 to till present senior qa lead and then to this to this and then no unnecessary explanation about the product okay if they are asking then only you have to mention that Otherwise, you can see, okay, what is the domain, the banking and the finance domain? I mean, everywhere the banking and finance domain. In your case, it could be a normal, <coughs> you know, HR, healthcare or mobility services or any Google cloud platforms or any kind of cloud platform that you're using or any kind of business domain that you have, you can maintain over here like this. Then again, the education, okay, uh, from this college, this is a CGPA. If you really want to highlight your CBSC 10th and 12th percentage that you can handle it. Otherwise, you can ignore this particular thing because after 11 years, nobody's going to bother about your 12th and 10th percentage. But if you really want to mention, you can utilize this over here as well. Or uh, otherwise, you can uh, highlight some achievement also like conferences. You put your Git repositories here, your uh, important website, that, a blogging website or any channel that you have. You can highlight all those things over here, your extra uh, factor okay, in your bucket that if you are contributing some, some blog or any committer, Let's say you are committed for the Selenium or APM or certain things so that you have uh, created some important libraries. You can mention your Git uh, as well. Okay. And then these are the achievements. You can really want to highlight your Rockstar, your Star Award, your uh, any kind of awards that you are getting in your company, in your previous companies. You can highlight that over here in the, okay, in the achievement section. I think, uh, and then the certification. It's a very good section written over here. The certification, all the certification that you have, please don't show your uh, Udemy certification. You simply mention that, okay, your yeah, ISTQB, uh, SCJP, SOAP UI, Dell level one and two software testing certified and Dell certified for agile risk practices or any other global recognized certification that you really want to highlight. You can mention that. Do not mention that, okay, I took the training from XYZ Institute or Udemy back to back certification that you are putting it over here. Those things I think you can avoid on your resume. Other than that, I would advise that, okay, maybe she can use uh, this section for her uh, GitHub link. And then uh, she can use this section for a blogging also. That also she can mention over here. I think it looks very uh, interesting. And if you see, there are only two pages resume. I think with 11 years, I think we need at least uh, two pages, but not more than that. That is more than enough. And then let them ask if they are interested in the project or any specific thing that they want to do that. Good thing is that, uh, see, still we have some space over here, right? What exactly she can mention that, okay, some one or two lines of roles and responsibilities she can mention over here. Because I really don't know what exactly she was doing in IBM when she was, um, you know, she started 2000 uh, from 2013. See, I think uh, there is a typo over here, 2018 to 2013. So I think she has to rectify that there's a typo. But let's see, for example, 2013 to 2018, so whatever the things that okay, she wants to mention, she can mention over here as well, right? And uh, yeah, the roles and responsibility you can mention and any specific achievement that you did over there that, okay, that also you can mention in this particular section. So utilize this space also. Otherwise, uh, this resume looks really, really good to me. I would say eight out of 10 for this resume. 
and I'm pretty much sure that okay, it will be selected and uh, no fancy unnecessary things, very decent and it is like very eye catchy to me. The color, the font size and everything looks perfect. Although these things really doesn't matter. Some people say, okay, fine that these things really doesn't matter what exactly you are performing in a time of interview. Obviously that you have to perform. You should have those skill set. But uh, the first thing, the eye catchy thing <coughs> is that your resume selection, you are getting, uh, HR is getting hundreds of resume. Hiring manager is going to screen it. And then uh, the portal also will be looking for, uh, will be uh, checking all these keywords. So if you are not writing the proper keywords, see the proper keyword, it will be like this. The logic will be like this. Okay, postman, zero, j, unit in the separate line, not the comma separated or maybe, okay, uh, a complete paragraph that you're writing. So I think better you write in the bullet section like this. So these keywords will be sorted out, will be passed, okay, on their website and it will be selected for sure 100% like that. And what is the different keyword that you want to write? Use it. Proper keyword like Zira, Quality Center, Test Management, Test Rail, Postman, J Unit, Test NG, uh, Cucumber, Test NG, whatever that you want to write. Just try to mention all these things over here. You really want to highlight your DevOps activities like Docker, Kubernetes, AWS, GCP, ETL testing, all such things you can mention here like that. Okay. So I think that's a quick um, uh, screening for and uh, let me know what do you think about it. I'll do one thing. I'll just upload this resume on the website. I'll give the left website link. You can download it and you can change according to uh, your experience and your roles and responsibilities and your skill set. So that's all. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe to the channel, guys. Please share this video with others so that other people who are actually uh, struggling with resume preparation. I'll do one thing. I'll prepare one more uh, one more uh, video how to prepare and how to get the Word document templates to prepare such kind of resume. I got some really good templates. I'll definitely share with you guys and then uh, and then you just prepare your resume accordingly. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all.